Good afternoon, wherever you are. We're going to be playing some Blitz and Rapid Chess here on Lee Chess against Challengers. If you could, just challenge me to casual between 5 plus 3 and 7 plus 3. What is up? Who's in the house? Astrobate's here. You've been here since the simul, right? I hope you got some sleep in between. I know I didn't sleep enough. My jet lag, three weeks later, still kicking in. What is up, man? I keep wanting to sleep in the morning time, like now. I'd like to go to sleep now. But instead, I'm here, and we're going to be playing some, some games. It was a tough time last week. You, you played, again, like a tough dude, but a little too generous with the peace sacrifice. You had the menacing attack and very, very big time pressure on me. But I still want to know what you're doing for those first 20 minutes of the game. Watching NFL football. I didn't even check. Oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> See, the problem with living in Hungary is that we're six hours ahead. So I have to wait. How is it? I have to wait for the... I have to wait till like late at night. Actually, the Patriots played at 10.30 last night. I haven't even checked the score. There's no news, so they must have won. It would be a huge headline if the Patriots lost to the Dallas Cowboys. I assume. This is important that we talk about football here on the chess stream. Scores. All right. Obviously, if the Pats lost, it would have been a big deal. But instead, there's no mention of them. The evil Patriots. Where is the score? Did the game get canceled or something? No, 13 to 9. Wow. Patriots defense. Offense sucks. All right. 13 to 9. Oh my god. Big Max is challenging me to 10 0. 10 0. The problem with that is that there's no increment. We do 5 plus 3 through 7 plus 3. The other problem is that it's rated. Obviously, I'm not going to accept that. If you wanna if you wanna challenge me something between five plus three and seven plus three, just have an established account. I'm gonna go to the it's usually a little hard to get the streams rolling um Monday, Wednesdays, so I'm gonna go get a victim from uh, well let's let's play a victim or two. Create a game. It would be create a game. I don't know, that's kind of weird. I have to go to lobby now. I wish it was easier just to go to the lobby. What do you think of F4 against the French? Um Typical coffee house opening. You have two options, A or B. After after E4, E6, F4 is rather unusual. Rarely played by strong players. Because after D5, you can push the pawn and you get one of these coffee house setups, which is basically like a not that great kind of close Sicilian. After, after F4, D5, E5. Or you can play what Mark Hebden would categorize as the toilet variation. In the Sicilian, you would normally do it by like e4, e6, f4, d5, knight c3. So just supporting the pawn. But f4 is not regarded as great. It's not that bad, but it's not that good. I don't know what else to, to tell you, Astrobate. It's playable. Generally leads to closed positions. Nothing really unique. Um, and popular with with low-level club players. All right, <clears throat> we could put out a challenge, but I, I'd have to make it casual. All right, we usually wait for, for a victim here. These are long games, dude. Why are they so long? We got blitz challenges clicked, casual, rapid, and classical, but there's hardly any blitz. Casual 5-0, all right. I just clicked on a random game. Five plus eight, the increment is too long. It'd take forever. Let's play this guy five zero. He like pre-moved. You got a system. You got a system against it? What do you mean against it?
You ought to try to play something that doesn't lead to absolutely closed positions. Speaking of systems, I don't know this line. I had this once on the stream, bishop b5 check. They can also play that move. Seems like I should be able to maintain my center. Good opening for a 1697. He's from Pakistan. Not a notoriously strong chess country, but strong enough. Any country that borders India is pretty good at chess. All right, so bishop d6, some sort of tactics and castles I can play. Nepal, not so strong as Pakistan. This is a typical blunder. So now he loses a piece. Sad, acerbate. That's what get. That's what you get when you you play for cheapos, right? Punished for playing for cheapos. Live and die by the cheapo. It wasn't even that great of a cheapo. He was just like attacking my bishop. So now tactics. He's done. Too fast, not paying attention. Let's critique his game now. <clears throat> My f7 square is a little tender, but it seems like everything is under control. Not that in a hurry to give away my white square bishop. I could have played bishop, bishop g4 and traded it for the knight in f3. You gotta know where your weaknesses are. Know your weaknesses, that's what I say. My weakness was f7. I was a little bit unsure. I want to play something like bishop g4 and trade it off. Now he's done. He's got two pawns for a piece or just one? Just one. But he plays as if that's a usual sort of thing. Quickly responding. How about that, bishop? His only good piece, let's trade it off. <clears throat> when you're up material acerbate, what do you do? You trade it off. All right, now you have three minutes to think about your lost position. Should have thought more before you had a lost position. Okay, five zero is not the same as increment. I'm used to playing with increment. You gotta play a little bit faster here. He has no extra time. But I mean, one minute should be enough for an emergency. You know, you really should take your time until you get down to one minute, in my opinion. Nice timely resignation though. All right, let's go back and get another victim. What's up, Panda? Asterby, what time is it there? Halloween week, Halloween, yeah, I'm normal. Thanksgiving, whatever. I live in Europe. What can I say? I can't keep track of what holiday it is. Thanksgiving. Hungarians have no idea what Thanksgiving is. I was thinking of getting some turkey. Halloween, we've caught on a little bit here, but Thanksgiving, not so much. That will never be a holiday in Hungary. Purely American Dude, it's so annoying. How do I go back to the lobby? Isn't that annoying? There's no way to do that without clicking three times. Marius. Mary, Marie Madeleine. Five plus three is the right time control. Kind of low rated though. I don't want to look like I'm just bashing people. Let's play somebody a little bit higher. <laughs> 3-0. I wish I wouldn't mind playing chess knight 60, but that's too fast. How about this guy? All right. B and M. Baked beans. 
Any game birds popular in Hungary? I guess so. They probably eat stuff like that. Quail. Actually, duck is much more... I mean, duck and goose. People eat duck and goose. Duck, duck, goose. They're not really game birds, though, right? Duck, maybe. Is that considered a game bird? The game birds. Yesterday was NFL... NFL game birds. Dude is just donating. Thank you for your donation. Our first donation. I love duck too. It's a little greasy. My son was like, I don't like it. It's too greasy. Too much fat. I guess it depends on the duck. All right, let's take the exchange. This is something I normally am very careful about doing, <clears throat> but I think it's principled to grab this particular exchange. I'm gonna play F3, try to maybe, speaking of weaknesses, we're gonna try to guard our weaknesses. Nobody here today asked me, what's up, man? No JCS, have you seen JCS on the stream? The last couple of streams? Once, I think once I cooked goose years ago when I first moved here, go to the market, find some old lady from like Transylvania or something. They're selling birds. They, they murdered themselves. All right. Yeah, it seems like JCS is MIA. I mean, I know that it's late for you guys. But he was here like the first week or two of my streaming. Seems like something came up. He's going MIA again. Mr. Coffee can't really mod these daytime streams. Murdered bird. <laughs> Knight G4, that's a sophisticated move for a provisional 1600. Nice, I like that. It's just not gonna be enough. I'm not even castled, and if I was, I'd probably still be safe. Queen d5 would be a funny move there. That would have been more aesthetic. Just forcing a trade of pieces. Now he has knight takes e3. This is very strong. You know, I didn't realize my, my move actually wins a piece. I assumed he could exchange, but I'm winning his queen with knight c7 check. That wasn't even my intention. Accidental win of queen has been called. Now you got mates there. What we have? Knight, knight g2 check, king f2, d5. Still, there's no mate. There's no way you could possibly mate me here. Elvira Rosita, Rosita Marie. Oh, I can't say it. Elvira, Elvira, I don't know how you pronounce it in Spanish, El, Elvira. In Hungary, it would be Elvira. It would be Elvira. But Rosita Marie, Marie, I can't say it, Ramirez. Spanish is too hard, especially in the morning when I just woke up. Elvira. It would be El, Elvira here. But in America, we always say, like, Elvira. It's not like it's a common name, but sorry about your hair. All right. But this is over. Poor guy. Actually, this trades more pieces. I'm good. What is a Bernstein bishop? What does that mean? Yeah, I have morning hair too. Just less of it. I promised I would stream this morning, even though I wanted to go to back to sleep. I um I'm a chess streamer who keeps his word. I keep my, my stream times, even when I don't want to. 
usually there's more people watching a little bit later. I was thinking of starting later, like around 10.30. I'm in European time here, guys, so. The problem is the American viewers, my old friends from America, masturbate like you, you know, it's better if I'm early rather than later. Yeah, going to work when you don't want to. That's like this today. Exactly. I don't want to work, but I'm here anyway. Master Troy, yeah, 4 a.m. if you're on the East Coast. Um, that's why it's better for me to actually start the, the stream on the earlier side. We get more people who can still stay up late. Um, on the other hand, like the Europeans don't want to watch till a little bit later. So I'm kind of stuck in the middle between West and East. In about an hour, I start getting more European viewers as the Americans start to pass out. I have the world's best job. I wish. It's not, it's not, it's not really a job, but yeah, <laughs> it is sort of a job. Choose West. All right, guys. I'm trying to wake up. I had a coffee. It wasn't strong enough. Let's get our last rook in the game. So I try to teach people principled ideas about chess. Yesterday, um, Asturbate, I don't think you follow, you follow, you don't follow like major chess tournaments so much, do you? Yesterday, yesterday somebody during my simul was mentioning that Magnus Carlsen beat Ding Loren. Is this... Is this something that just happened? Because I haven't been following like big tournaments this week. I definitely would choose sleep over makeup. I'm a makeup girl. My hairstylists are actually totally MIA this morning. I don't know. That's the problem if you're a big time chess streamer, I guess. <laughs> you have your own makeup artist. Um, I have to ask Hikaru. I don't think so. I'm just kidding. Where's the mate? No mate. Still no mate. Mate in three. One, two, three. I have um, allergies. It's been driving me crazy. Okay. That's it, guys. Very exciting game, not... Elvira. I won't enforce it, but next time, challenge me to 5 plus 3. Alright, next time, just do a 5 plus 3. She's playing 5-0 because I was playing 5-0, so I understand. But I was just picking some people at random. Um, we normally do like 5 plus 3 through 7 plus 3, so you can play anything there in that range. 5-3, five, 5-5, three, five, five, six, three. I'd like to have an increment so I can talk more about the games. Yesterday we played in the simul, simultan in Hungarian. Simultaneous exhibition, uh, 25 players. Elvira was one of them. This was, uh, it was a different opening though. It was C4, E5. So I've been trying to incorporate that into my repertoire, but I don't really, I haven't been studying chess openings too much. This is a pseudo Nimzo Indian. So, I normally wouldn't get this position from a d4 game. Queen, d3. Interesting. Queen, c2 is more common. Here I haven't played knight f6. I could try to do without that and just play f5. <laughs> I wonder how strong f5 is. I mean, white can play bishop g5, obviously. Not a big deal. But I like never played this position. I don't know about queen d3. Weird openings, f3 is, is pretty bad. All right, I'm not gonna play f5. We're gonna try to be solid. Um, but b4 is not that bad. I'll, I'll say that. How can I be? 
This position I know with the queen on c2, but with the queen on d3, it's a little different. I, and I feel like black should have some way to benefit from that, but I don't know really objectively how that happens. I don't know. Bishop d2, it seems like you should play bishop h4 there. Reminds me a little bit of a game I had with white last week. Hungarian team championship. Put my queen on c2. Put my queen on c2, and um, you have something very similar to what I played last week and lost with white. <laughs> Horribly. By putting my bishop on f4. Playing h3. The London system. Terrible opening. Just kidding. Everybody loves the London system. Oh, it's so boring. All right, guys. What's not a good opening, Master Troy? You mean B4? B4 is fun. I like B4. I also play A6 with black. Sometimes. <laughs> It's funny, I, I don't know now, you know, if I should be playing like d5 or e5. Wait and see. c5, opening his bishop up. Her. All right, whatever. We could play neither and play queen e7. This is interesting, this queen has lateral mobility. His and hers. Did I just lose a pawn? Well, I would I would gladly sacrifice a pawn, actually. Some interesting lines here, where I could face queen g3 and sacrifice one of these pawns. White falling behind in development. I assume, like, other than just protecting e4, this move is about moving the queen laterally. Maybe that wasn't even her intention, just kind of accidental benefit. I mean, she's got to control e4. That's the thing I'm banking on is good control of that square. Um, so if you're white here, this is more or less like a defensive maneuver. I employed the same thing in my game that I lost last week. Side benefit of queen on d3. But I'm not sure if white wants to go on this adventure here. Queen g3, d5, or queen g3 right away. I could just take on d4 and not sacrifice anything. Because if queen takes g7, rook, rook g8, even rook h7 wins a piece. She can't play queen g3, and if I take, she has to play bishop takes d4. Although queen g3, pawn takes d4, bishop takes d4. White might still just be better there. Even though she's behind in development, it's not easy to to exploit it. All right, we've got another challenge from Narula. Narula, if you could please, this is not our time control. See, the problem with accepting Al Avira's challenge is that now everybody thinks we're, we're playing 5 plus 0 with everybody, and we're not. We've got to lay down the law. I've got it in the in the stream. 5 plus 3 through 7 plus 3 challenges. See that? That's all you need to know. It's easy. And then you can't make a mistake. All right. All righty, Bob. It was good to see Bob yesterday, Asturbate. It's a shame he has to work. It's more fun when he's bantering. Nice, solid positional gain here by white. And now, she has to play queen e3 if I play knight c5. She has time for a4, a4 or b4, excuse me. So, this is not so easy. <laughs> what to decide to do? a5 right away? 
kind of clamping down is an option. Well, you could still play b4. She did not, and I think she should. See, this freezes the queen side. White should not allow that. What do we do when we have a bad bishop on b7? I could even play g5. I mean, I'm not committed to castle and king side here. Strategically bad for white's pawn structure, unless she can play for a5 and trade it off. My knight's outpost is gone, though. This is probably not the safest way to play here. Oof. Missing c5. Really, really strong positional play by white. With c5, I had bishop a6. You didn't miss that. Well, a5 is still strong. <clears throat> All right. My white's been well trained positionally. We found her weakness. Tactics. This is a great, great break, but she just stopped paying attention to the center. Now I'm just winning a piece. JBW. What time is it? Merle Dixon, I want to thank for a donation. Thank you for your donation of 123 bits. So actually, Alvira had a good position. I thought white is better after even just castles, but G5 is really sketchy. I don't like what she did with the queen side, but still white's better, even after this. Look at this, like, the computer is like plus 1.2, plus 1 1.3, I'm absolutely not surprised. This, this is a strong positional plan, just needs to pay attention and play like g3. After knight g6, you just play g3 and you're clearly better. Yeah, not an impressive opening by me. I don't know what's up with queen d3, though. This move doesn't even exist. That's amazing. Oh, there is one game. This Ukrainian grandmaster who lives in the United States. Vladimir Belus. 2017. That's the only one with queen d3. A totally independent move from theory. Well, juice box was at least you've got all the important issues covered. Thanks for sharing. It's a good thing Bob's not here. So that's pleasant. What about the chess world? What's up in the chess world? Anybody pay attention to to Magnus Carlson? Knight F three. Was there a real chess tournament or something? Hiroku. It's a queen's gambit reversed. Magnus crushed Tata. Oh shit. I better check those games out. Important tournament. I have to make a chess lecture on a chess video on Wednesday.
that's the opposite of what you do with the normal normal newspapers and stuff right Asturbate, you normally watch the you just look at the pictures in the books this is interesting reversed queen's gambit with b6 probably b5 is a mistake here possibly allowing c4 i'm tired too i'm gonna go back to sleep don't let me rub my eyes no matter what you guys if you guys see me like reaching for my eyes don't let me do that contact allergy if I rub my eyes then they get really itchy just stop me if you guys see me do that because it's it's not good um, then I have to go wash my eyes out with water which is really a pain I have to go all the way downstairs um, I have guinea pig allergy and uh, maybe it's an allergy to the grass that they eat actually I'm not sure if you can get guinea pigs like an alternative if I can get my guinea pigs some sort of alternative grass that won't make my eyes itch it would be good yeah I need a second coffee if anybody wants to wants to bring me a second coffee people of the house I wouldn't mind who the b5 square is not good they love peppers and peppers are good for guinea pigs they're packed with vitamin C especially red red peppers juice box I have really fat guinea pigs yeah guinea pigs are not good with California Reapers Carolina um, that would probably like kill them or something not a good idea unless you like your guinea pig spicy but this is not South America probably they feed them hot peppers in advance or something anyway that's a pleasant thought knight takes d4 but they are just house pets they need to stop making my eyes itch all right juice box wizard being there in Southeast Asia, you should you should basically have your your pick of helpless wild animals to murder and destroy. Um, isn't that why people Americans travel the world, trophy hunting and whatnot? Um, not so many laws to protect wildlife. Actually, I heard like in Costa Rica, they they're starting to like ban like wild animal selfies or something. Can't even like take your picture with the wild animals. Frog. Actually, I can't remember if I've ever eaten frog. Common. I don't know about toad though. Toads are like larger, right? Anyway, the conversation is a little bit off the chess chess subject here. Chess subject. Typical chess subject. This is where you restrain yourself, Astrobate, with the cheapos. Like, here's a typical example of when not to play a cheapo. D4 is like if he takes and i take and he takes i play bishop c5 when it's queen but d4 would weaken my position it would weaken the white squares you you have to learn to control yourself and not make dubious positional mistakes in order to try for some sort of cheapo there's a very important principle here don't they use those for like some sort of voodoo or something juice box Actually, the big thing I saw online, now that you mention it, is um, donkey. 
donkey shortages. Do you know about that? Donkey. The Chinese are taking away all the donkeys. There's not enough donkey supply. Donkey burgers are going to become popular in the West. Better for the rainforest. Let's play an end game. Objectively, maybe I should take with the, the knight. I don't know. Monkey brains are like a delicacy, right? Is that like in Africa? No more pawns on the white squares. Enough of that. That's why they're called monkeys, right? I always wondered. That completely makes sense. Monkey. How else would you eat a bug? The only proper way is with a stick. You can't eat them with like a knife and fork. I've never eaten a bug. Maybe I never will. Probably accidentally. You inhale them sometimes. Exactly. Exactly. Inhale. Inhale them when, like, riding your bicycle or something. Juicebox, you're spending too much time there in other parts of the world. This king position, but how am I going to break through? Yesterday, one of my teammates had an endgame down a pawn in the Budapest Team Championship. 2200 player. He had like knight versus bishop and he was down a pawn. But there were still chances to, to draw, and he just like blundered. A one move blunder of the exchange of the last pieces. It was horrible. I don't know how somebody who's like 2200 can do that. I mean, not see like a knight fork. I guess it happens. Stinging yourself with a bee. That's why the bees don't want to live anymore. Because of that lady. Apparently, not a lot of squares for that bishop, huh? Man, how do I break through? <sighs> this is like probably drawn. There's a lot of ways you can try, though. Sacrificing a piece. Man, white's gonna play like G5. Oh. How is he 1677? But 2000 in bullet. <clears throat> Juicebox knows about that. Have pandas always been like, uh, speaking of pandas, no talking about eating pandas on the stream. All right. That's where we draw the line. Have pandas always been like a sort of protected animal in Asia, like a holy animal? I would think they had been very striking, even when they were more plentiful. 
Yeah, alligator actually is. They have like alligator farms and stuff, as far as I know. This is totally caving. Your whole position is, is just hanging in the balance. That bishop is basically the glue that's keeping it together. There's no way you can make this exchange. You just lose immediately. Man, that's so disappointing. Rook f8. Maybe there's just no defense for white here. But I thought they can at least wait for me to take on g4 and then take on e4 with some tiny chance to survive. This is just over. Maybe white could have tried to hold on there by not giving up the bishop right away. Oh, these pawns are rather strong. The moisturizer. Guinea pig. Guinea pig is worse. Oh man, I broke my toe yesterday. Doesn't feel good. Yeah, don't talk about roast guinea pigs or panda. Very common Venezuelan treat. Oh man. Yeah. So, can wait. I'm not planning on I broke my toe though. That was that was the other thing that happened yesterday. There's nothing, what can you do about it? If it's like your big toe, maybe, but if it's not your big toe, I'm not even going to go to the doctor. I mean, what are they going to do, you know? What are you going to do about a broken toe? Like, seriously. I just walked in the dark in my apartment. There was this, like, piece of, there was a big piece of wood on the floor that I didn't see, and I just smashed it on it. But I didn't like break it like the last time I broke my toe when I was in college. That was st sort of stupid. Raisin. 1381. Razin. Delavoy Chilovic. Delavoy Chilovic. Razin. All right, we've got the five plus three challenges coming in. Like the last time I broke my toe, friends of mine, it was like a long time ago. We got drunk and we like dared each other to like run across the street naked in the center of Boston. We live downtown in Boston. So I ran across the street and on the way back, I like smashed my toe on the, on the cement of the, the side of the street. That's like you deserve to break your toe if you do something stupid like a prank like that. But yesterday I was just walking in my apartment and broke my toe. This is an interesting variation. Um, yeah, I'm supposed to play knight b6 and then take on e5. This is main line, actually. When I'm awake and make my level to 2600, will you still be playing me? Absolutely. So this is this is like really known variation. Juicebox, that's pleasant. What made you think of that? Thanks for sharing. Penguin sounds good. Roast penguin. Penguins are delicious. I'm just kidding. I really... They probably are. Do they have crocodile? I guess they do. 
crocodile for dinner. The greatest thing about that is that you have like, it's like, it's like those Alaskan reality TV shows. Like you kill one crocodile and you have food for the rest of your, your year. Um, just, you need a large freezer. Who likes the Pope? What? I don't really know him personally. Are the farmed crocodiles larger? They like genetically modify them to have more meat? Dude, this is just ridiculous. Okay. I managed to equalize, but I have no idea how I'm supposed to win this position. Razine didn't play anything critical. But the C3 Sicilian is a pain. I mean, it's really very, 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 very difficult to play for a win against this opening. Yeah, I don't know much about Catholicism, but the Pope seems like a good person. Better than most world leaders. Um, all right. Queen B6. Juicebox Wizard, you are, you're not a vegetarian, I take it. How the plant-based foods over there. <laughs> c5 queen takes b2 i like that pawn is my queen gonna get trapped no never i'm taking this mm, yummy speaking of delicious foods he's just not calculating damn that just loses everything 2027 Gotta calculate, guys. Bok choy. That's like that. I think I like that. It's in Chinese food all the time. Um, American Chinese food is better than the Hungarian Chinese food, interestingly. Not that crazy about the Hungarian Chinese food here. All right, let's see. This one thing I miss about not being in the United States is having like real Chinese food. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Is bok choy really a morning glory? We had another challenger, but he's gone. How can the Chinese food suck in anywhere in Southeast Asia? It would be like there'd have to be Chinese people. Like authentic Chinese people in a place like that. You're just too close, I would think. Pop tarts, juice box, the fruit ones or, or like those sort of chocolate. I don't like the like ones that have like chocolate flavor. I like the fruity ones. We actually have pop tarts here in Hungary. They're kind of hard to find. Not that common. Elvira has challenged me to 3-1, but that's too fast. I'm not doing that. If you want to play, again, I'll play a second game. But it has to be at least 5 plus something. I can go find more victims in the hospital. Strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, any berry flavored Pop-Tarts. They're extremely artificial. I don't think there's any natural ingredients in those things. Yeah, it's funny. I used to actually have to go to this really expensive 
gourmet food store to buy pop tarts. It was the only place that I could find them. I mean, not like I care, but at some point it was it was interesting. And um, then there was a store down the street that started selling them. But most stores here in in Hungary don't. They certainly don't import stuff from the United States. It's very expensive, so. I don't know if they, do they make Pop-Tarts in Europe? We need some of our German, French, and Spanish friends to investigate the, the sort of major economies of Europe to see if Pop-Tarts exist. Um, nobody's here yet, it looks like, it's too early. The cinema ones, I don't know about that, really? England might produce them. I have to ask Boris Johnson. I'm not going to start it with politics today. I know nothing about British politics, English, whatever you call it. Queen C2. That's a unique move. Elvira has a lot of interesting ideas in the opening. She played Queen D3 last game. Now another new unique move against the Grunfeld. Huh. Logic would dictate I should attack the white center here. Juicebox Wizard, you guys probably like, what are those cinnamon cinnamon rolls that you like bake in the oven? Cinnabons? Danishes. What if I go with B5 now? Principle. Still white's fine here. Might even be better. They probably have Cinnabon in like United Arab Emirates. In Dubai, the Dubai Cinnabon in the Dubai mall. It's so weird. Next thing, it's like next to the Dubai Piercing Pagoda. Sorry, it's just my New Jersey upbringing. I start having like mall. Mall nostalgia. C4. Okay. Your base must have been a big base. Green what? What did you say? Green what? Green bean coffee? Dude, don't make me ill. What are you talking about? It sounds gross, dude. Who would name it that? I mean, I understand, but... It makes you think of green beans. And green beans don't go with coffee. Damn, this is... Alvira is, is a good general positional player. We're hoping that she falls for some sort of tactics. Um... Structurally equal. I say this, Asturbate, 99% of tactics don't work. Just remember. Bishop G4. 
and she forced a killer there. Killer there. 96, still bishop g4 strong. Damn, dude. I can't be playing f5 under any circumstances. So I can literally play like what? Queen c7? Then there's rook takes, queen takes, bishop f3. Wait, it's almost winning by force. Look at this. These pieces here in this little square, and she's got all this sort of power and range. Except for the knight any one that's guarding the mate on g2. Very compact and solid. I miss Taco Bell too. We've talked about this, but it's so, so gross. I had a friend who worked at Taco Bell in high school. He didn't want to talk about it. It was kind of like, P, you know, PTSD. He had like fast food restaurant PTSD. And, and then when I went to college, the street level, the street level of my dormitory had a Taco Bell. Yeah. Yeah, don't don't destroy Wendy's for me. She can play like rook takes b7, queen b7 anytime with impunity, just trading pieces. With the structure um either side really has an advantage here. But somehow I feel like my c pawn is is a weakness. Chess again? Can you believe it? I don't know why I played the Grunfeld. I don't really play the Grunfeld anymore. That was something I did till I was like 2000. It's an old opening of mine that I don't know well enough to play at a high level. This opening requires an immense theoretical knowledge for black. I'm actually not really sure why I stopped playing the Grunfeld. I just got into the King's Indian instead. The Grunfeld's probably a better opening, ironically. I think that most professionals would agree if you surveyed all the top chess grandmasters of the world and asked them which opening was better, they'd say, yeah, the Grunfeld's better than the King's Indian. King's Indian just gives white too much space. It's like out of control. You can't just like give your opponents a massive space advantage for nothing. Um, you can, but it's not a good idea, I found. Once I started playing people who were like 2,500, I realized that, hey, why am I handicapping myself and giving my opponent, like, you know, three pawns in the center? But the problem is that strong players have the capability to take advantage, space advantage, until you get to that level. Um, Elvira played well and solid here, very careful, like, she's kind of playing like I would play if I was playing a computer. No weaknesses, no risk, just really careful. Um, this pawn, I said, you know, it's a weakness. Look at my pieces now. Pieces, parts, bad knight on b6. She played a good positional game here. Why is even slightly better? Slightly, slightly better. Now she's after my, my pawn. Don't like that. Don't like you taking my pawn. Pawn does. 
This is almost certainly a draw in, in normal circumstances, I would say. How can you win when the position is so symmetrical? I mean, it's really... There's no way I should lose this position against, like, Magnus Carlsen. He would find a way, but... Queen endgame, like he did last time. I still have nightmares about losing to Magnus Carlsen. Bishop takes b6. Bishop takes c5. Queen takes c4. That's a problem. I have to play bishop takes. Knight takes c4. And then I'm a little bit scared. White will have some sort of trick. She can also play knight takes c5. Juicebox Wizard, I'm getting the very distinct sensation that you're hungry. Have you thought that over? Maybe there's a chance that you're hungry? Since the only thing you talk about is food? Now White's going to have to fight for a draw. Technical endgame. She even had that prepared. <laughs> I don't know about this bishop endgame being enough. I really don't want to trade. Grandmaster Josef Dorfman, he said, very important theory about um, Rook and Bishop versus Rook and Knight. Now Elvira's coming up with some 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 speed somehow that I didn't notice before. Ooh, knight b3. I don't want to get my rook trapped. Serious king position coming. all over yeah I mean maybe it's a draw but it's unpleasant for white you know this position maybe not king e4 here okay I guess you had to, you had to it's, it's not fun not a fun end game Now, these two weaknesses, it's not that easy. I can slowly improve my position. Like H5, King G7, King F6. I'm sure that a computer can draw, but again, you know, it's not easy. Outlet. The outlet. 22, sort of, 22, 22. He looks legit. Thanks for the game, Elvira. Elvira. All right, 11.09. So I started getting YouTube ads lately. Um, you know, I noticed something weird. I actually had some sort of, I was checking like my Twitch account. I actually had some sort of income generated from ads. But are you talking about on Twitch? Or are you talking about in general? 
Oh God, one of my students lost this weekend to somebody playing the closed Sicilian. And it's kind of tough if you don't have much experience against it. I still can't stand this freaking opening. After 30 years of playing. You just don't play it every day and then somebody is like a closed Sicilian aficionado. I played Queen A5 here once in a tournament at the Boylston Chess Club 25 years ago. I think that's kind of artificial. I mean, there's something very strange about putting the queen on A5. As I've said many times on my stream, Queen A5 is always bad. There must be some sort of ads on Twitch I'm making a pennies from. They're, they're giving me like pennies. YouTube, I don't really make anything. I don't really try to make income from YouTube. I don't know. I don't have time for it. Maybe in the future I can improve my YouTube channel. Video chess training on YouTube. I just use it for the reruns, the replays of my stream as of now. I do have some independent YouTube videos, but I haven't created anything new in a while. I've got to declare that my, because of the new EU regulations, I have to declare that my, my YouTube channel is child content or not. Um, I, I don't think that I'm creating content for children. I just create content for general people, you know? I think it's sort of stupid that you have to declare one or the other. Oh God, the close Sicilian, please don't play this anymore. I'll do anything. It's so horrible. Like you play, you play black, you want to play a kind of open game. It's not like I'm a French defense player. You know, I don't want to play a stodgy, boring position. But then you get this guy playing the close Sicilian. I have to confess that I've played the close Sicilian myself on occasion. Yep. Now F5 has to be watched. I think what I need to do here is just maintain maximum flexibility. It's utterly boring, this position. Guys, tomorrow's the Panda Arena. Ponda Arena, tomorrow. Damn, juice box. Share your thoughts. Scary me, man. All right. I'm glad you're here with us. Otherwise, there'd be nobody chatting. <sighs> D5 at some point could be a good move. Maybe I should complete development first. The other possibility is Bishop A6. Fake tan. Ask the orange man. Orange man, bad. Antonio, what's up? Juicebox Wizard, you, you remind me of when I'm drunk or something. Start talking more. 
Yeah, exactly. I hate the close Sicilian. Please, God. Don't let it happen anymore. Yeah, that's what when your your tan looks orange colored. We have seen that recently. It's a natural color. So I don't tan very well. It takes me forever to get a tan, and then it goes away in like a week. Um, this is strong though. Who is this guy? The close Sicilian expert. <sighs> what do I do now? I want to do something. God, leave me alone. The problem is... Pawn takes d4, bishop takes d4. That's like the time that I played in a poker tournament online. And I passed out halfway through the tournament. I think I was doing pretty well. It was a big buy-in. It was like 500. There was this guy with me. And we he was watching. We were talking. And we were... I was playing. And we are just hanging out. And then, like, he left. And after he left, he was like, Hey, the next day, how did you do in the tournament? I was like, Oh, I just passed out. I don't remember. It was just a $500 buy-in. Nothing major. I mean, for online, that's a lot. That was sort of stupid. Ludwig, do you have Pop-Tarts in, in your country? Antonio, do you have Pop-Tarts in Spain? I'm just surveying everyone. Do Pop-Tarts come from Europe or are they made in the United States? This is the important question. Antonio doesn't even know what it is. It's like a breakfast pastry made by Kellogg's. Is it Kellogg's? I don't know what company it is. Pope Tarts. That's another for the Catholic breakfast crowd. They're, they're, they're toaster pastries, okay? They're basically little squares and they have like fruit filling and you put them in a toaster instead of regular toast you cook them for like a minute and they they pop out of the old-fashioned toaster because I can get them in Hungary and I was just wondering if they import them from the United States or if they're like produced in like other European countries that was what I was eating for breakfast when I didn't have time in the United States and as I said I, I've seen them here in Hungary not so often, but they do exist. I don't think I like this closed Sicilian guy. He's too strong. He plays the closed Sicilian. He's got 5,000 bullet games, so it's not an account that was created to troll me or something. Don't be paranoid. But he's just better here. I mean, he's playing like freaking God. It's my my student lost against the close Sicilian this weekend. One of my students. To a weak player. And he was kind of bummed out. And I said, don't worry about it, dude. The close Sicilian does that to all of us sometimes. This knight is so strong I have to hack it off with my good bishop. Which sucks. It's just killing me. Wait, is just better here. Clear better. God, I don't think h5 is going to help my cause. Too many weaknesses. No, this is just nightmare position. It's like playing Nimzovich himself. He's that good positionally. I mean, he must be 
horrible tactically, or else he would be like 2,700. I don't know. Because I'm getting just outplayed big time. See, the problem with facing the closed Sicilian is that not that many people play it. Like, one of the biggest problems. So you don't face it that often. And then when you do face it, it's usually a, a not that strong opponent, you know? So you don't face that many people who are really strong. Remember this one Finnish guy I used to play? Pia, Piasolo or whatever his name was. He used to play it all the time. But you wouldn't encounter the many strong people who play it. It's a big problem. Yeah, dude. I mean, I'm not even in the slightest bit surprised by that. Hikaru also claims that Queen is stronger than two rooks. I mean, his his big thing is is bullet chess. You know, I don't think that he's a chess historian or even cares that much about you know classic games or stuff like that. I'm just clearly worse. I mean, this is like plus 1.5. Let's just try to guess what White's advantage is here. Plus 1.3 for White. And basically, if any of my, if my opponents were 2200 in an over the board game, I would instantly offer or accept a draw in this position. This is It's a horrible position. There's no counterplay. Wow. I'm actually in a state of shock. Stockfish says it's only 0.6 better for white. That's almost unbelievable. It's usually like way too optimistic. Normally when you ask the computer what it thinks, it's like double what the advantage should be. You could work for the Trump administration. You could be Donald Trump's makeup artist. Yeah, this is just very hard to play for black. If my opponent was maybe 2100, I would, or lower, I would try. Um, man, I don't know what I did wrong though in the opening. Let's see. Queen d2, rook b8, knight d2, knight d4. Knight d1, knight e7. I mean, somewhere along the line, I didn't play main line. Like, probably e6 isn't the best move here. I don't know. It's the second main move. Rook b8 is also a good move. Probably that's the best. Sometimes I forget what I'm doing, and I've played different stuff. I've played d6. I've played this quite a bit. d6, bishop e3, queen d7. Was it here? No, b5. That's another line. I don't know. I hate the closed Sicilian. Almost as much as I hate the London system. Ooh, Elvira got timed out. Excessive use of caps. Caps go well with with orange skin toner. PSG soccer rook. Hey, what's up? People are turning up. London system haters and closed Sicilian haters. I hate cheesy systematic openings, you know? That's basically my problem. I mean, any kind of like, you know, opening in a box thing. Exactly. I mean, the thing is, Antonio, do we count the Grand Prix attack and the other stuff is close Sicilian too, right? I mean, technically it is. We have to lump it all together and just throw it out. No. Dude, I'm so lucky to, to win against you yesterday. So, whoa, we just lost the window. 
Guys, it's good to have some friends here. Ludwig, Turkey Farm. Turkey Farm, you just wake up or what? Are you up early? Early is the new late. Orange tan and excessive caps. Yeah, you couldn't really go wrong with that joke. Elvira is like... In dangerous territory. That's the thing about my stream time. I don't know, if I make it any earlier, then the European people don't watch. But if I make it later, then the Americans can't watch. There's this like crossover period between waking up and going to bed. Wow, PSG Soccer Rook, it's a Leningrad Nimzo. Nimzo. Yeah. Leningrad Dutch. Dutch. We're the Dutch viewers. Mubot knows a Trump troll. <laughs> yeah, seriously, there's some like definite flags that it just automatically sees. Oh, you know what was weird the other day? Um, we were talking about stuff on the stream, and somebody talked about Berlin, and I think it was WJ Loof, and I said, <coughs> so we started having a conversation on the stream about about apartments in Berlin, and I saw a news show about it, how the rent controls are a question, and and that day, while I was using the internet, um, am I allowed to play B3 here? Am I going to drop something? Some sort of tactic? Allowed to play B3. Um, the just I just started getting ads for like Berlin apartments. And it's not like I have like Alexa or something you know, in my, in my office. I mean, I didn't type in anything. I didn't search for, for apartments in Berlin. We talked about it on the stream, you know, like that, that was it. And I started getting ads for that. Like, how does that work? They're like listening through your computer or what? That's kind of scary. I mean, I can understand if I typed in the search box, like, Berlin Apartments or something. Or if, like, Alexa was turned on and it was spying on me or something. But, like, people are, like, programs are, like, listening to my stream and searching for topics of conversation and then suggesting ads on my, on my like, internet browser later. Seriously? That's kind of insane. Um, there's this tactical thing going on with the long diagonal here. I'm trying to work out if I can play b3 without like h6, knight f3, knight e4 being a problem. Troll, troll farmers. It's all run by troll farmers. It's very convenient. Especially when Donald Trump is like having a important call on his mobile phone or something. There's a, a video about a guy who talks about dog toys out loud for a few minutes, visits random internet pages. It's now covered in an ad for dog toys. Yeah, I mean, clearly something's listening to my mic because there's no other explanation. I mean, I live in Budapest, Hungary. I don't live in Germany. I, I don't even, I've lived in the United States in the last six months, but not in Germany. There's no way I'm going to get ads for apartments in Berlin unless something's listening to my, my broadcast. You know, we talked about it on the stream. That's really insane. Night H3. Hmm. I 
I can't. I just can't justify sacking an exchange or something. I'm gonna have to play rook b1. Yeah, that's scary. I mean, I'm sure you can turn off your your microphone or whatever. Since I was living almost alone for like months, it's a proven fact that I talk to myself sometimes. Like Tom Hanks or something in Castaway. Sometimes I catch myself like starting to have a conversation with myself. And um, it's obviously not really good, but that's the way it is. So gotta be careful saying all sorts of terrible things about our viewers here I'm always saying bad things about Bob you know I don't I don't know when the things turned on hey is this mic on Bob's a dick is that on? Queen F7. Um, yeah, whatever. We're running out of time. Starting to think of yourself. Self-talk is key to a good chess player. Dude, you should read... Um, well, I mean, a lot of poker books have discussed this, but... Jonathan Ralston says you should talk to your pieces. I mean, a lot of psychological self-help books about anything will we'll maybe go into the self-talk thing. I can imagine that's extremely, I can tell you that it's extremely helpful, but you don't want to be talking to yourself out loud. So get, um, what is that? Seven Deadly Chess Sins? No, it was chess for zebras. Why didn't I take his bishop here? I should have taken that. Very foolish, young Jedi. The other option is f4. I, I hate playing that against a player who likes to attack, though. Like weakening my king side. But if I don't do it, he will. He was here um, yesterday. Bob stopped by at the Simo. Ludwig, thank you. 50. We got a donation from Merle Dixon and Ludwig as well. Um, nice to see some people I haven't seen in a while. So, fishing expeditions. Queen H5. Popular destination in fishing world. Right, Asterbait? Fishing world, it's like camping world. There's just like millions of RVs for sale. You could go knight h5 now. Not recommended. Queen g6. Guys, I didn't lose my tournament game yesterday. Isn't that great? Two weeks in a row I lost, and then it was a draw yesterday. I was seriously concerned I was going to lose three in a row, because then I would lose my mind. I would start to just completely tilt. I've done it before. But unfortunately my opponent wasn't that strong. That's the good news is I didn't lose. The bad news is my, my opponent was an old GM. I, I didn't play who I was supposed to play.
But not losing is better than losing, right? The fun police. We used to joke about this, about my ex-wife. There was no fun. Fun was never allowed. That's what I like to do against Soccer Rook, just prevent any fun. No fun. Yeah, we're good. It's over. Lots of connected pawns. Ooh, I can just take another pawn. Yep. He just hung his rook. He's pretty moving. Too much bullet. Bad for your health. It's like everything else. PSG soccer rook. You need to take it in moderation. Yeah, I think the answer to that glass troll is very clear. We chose the right path. Um, a Morales. I don't know if I'm ready. You guys are getting in into swing here. Usually we get the European players waking up now. We're an hour into the stream. Starting to pick up some viewers. I got to do something to get more American viewers. For that early hour. If I'm going to be streaming at 10, 10 o'clock. We'll have to do something fun. Crushes your soul. Merle, who talks about soul crushing? Reminds me of Beck. All right. Oh, no, not another Bishop C4. We had that soul crushing jerk. Ah, oh, this is at least an open position. At least it's an open position. I looked at this the other day. Wait, wait, wait for it. I have something interesting here. I thought. Yes. Oh, Morales, this is perfect. We have a chance to play our analysis. Wait. I've got to pull it out of my butt. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Perverse sort of concept, but we have an expression in English. Um, interesting. Is that Bob's lost soul brother? I'm telling you, man, I, I told the story about last year. I was on the street. And um, I don't know why, like, Bruce Willis popped in my head. And I turned around and Bruce Willis was there in, a, in an ad right behind me. But no, sorry, can't do that. So, this is the secret move, Morales, that's going to ruin your life. Refuting the Rasov Gambit. There's no games with this that I could find. And I looked at it, it's, it seems to be as good as any other move for black. But it, it leads to some new positions that these gambit freaks don't know. I don't think that the bald thing is sparking for me. Maybe if I get desperate. But I didn't have time to do my hair and makeup this morning. That you might be, you might be recognizing that. My makeup girl, it's her day off, you know. This is the critical variation, Morales. He's gone mainline. This is just going to ruin them. All those. Soltigo. 
Morales. The Orosov Gambit is just at least equal for black, minimum. Now, I can't remember if it was C6 here. I think it was C6 now. <clears throat> it's like nothing for white. It's not even fun. I don't even wear boxers. We just go. Commando style. What are you gonna do, sack a piece now, if I play d5? Knight takes d5, pawn takes d5, bishop takes d5. Esh. Sometimes I accidentally start speaking Hungarian. Also, knight e6 is probably good. What's he gonna do after knight e6? Take my knight? There's nothing for you, just give up chess and stop playing the stupid gambit. Lars Cellini. You would never play C6 there? All right, so if I go D5, he's going to play the feared castle queenside. We actually had a game similar to this against Morales a while back, different variation. I mean, he's clearly going to have to sacrifice a piece to even vaguely have some sort of play. The computer would just laugh at this. I'm not laughing, though. You know, this does look a little bit scary. He's going to have a piece sack. There's not a lot I can do to prevent it. But really, I, I don't know. I could move my knight again. No, that's not good. This could go very bad and badly. It's easy when the computer is showing. It's like completely winning for black, but... I have an idea. Nope, that's not good. I could play f5. Then then the piece comes to g5. Queen g3. I mean f5 just weakens my position worse. Got to do something here. There's nothing in his position that's like not protected except for the bishop on c4, right? You can never ever attack anything against this guy. I can't believe he hasn't beaten me in like 20 games. But last time he had a winning position. Now he has a scary attack. All right. I'm just going to ride out the storm on F7. There's no time to go to the local emergency shelter. We're just going to stick it out here in the Bahamas. Obviously, white has very strong potential peace sacrifices. But there's no obvious knockout blow. Knight d5, pawn d5, bishop d5. Then I have to move my queen somewhere. Perhaps queen... This reminds me of the simul game yesterday. Queen a5, obviously. He doesn't even do that. 
bishop b4. Why not? Because it loses to bishop takes d5, but maybe it doesn't. God bless you. Can I sack my queen? Bishop b4 is an idea. This wasn't really the optimal moment to play it. Hey, can you play your pieces any more perfectly? Can you play this opening more perfectly? Another winning position. He hasn't beat me for 20 games. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Obviously, to go here. 5, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's only 17, I can't count. There's 20 games in that box. I never really bothered to check it. It wasn't important, you know, to know. Now he just broke through. I'm basically dead. My king's just on f7 for no good reason. Just a matter of execution now. Not a pleasant word, really. Queen takes c3. That looks fun. I'll pass on that for now. I mean, queen takes c3, bishop d4, and I just don't even have a check or anything. And he just continues to destroy me. I think you should play queen h5 check. Probably his best move here. Chess boxing. Yeah, probably. I don't know if it was ever really a thing. I like chess poker. I'm really good at not winning when I should win chess poker tournaments. Getting bad beat. Um, all right. Chess boxing a little bit more dangerous. Good for the concussion tendency. Oh man, this is fun. Queen h5 check. He missed it. Didn't he have queen h5 check? I guess this is good enough, but this is this is good enough. Systematic. My god. He's 18. He's 1998. Playing with his baby in his arms is what he said to like rub it in. He's holding his child. I'm holding six baby guinea pigs and a dog and two children. Just can't see it. While brushing my teeth, riding a bicycle. Yeah, that's cheating. He found 94 somehow. I don't know how he saw that. <clears throat> the important thing is that we're having fun. The baby is clicking the mouse or... How does that work? Baby's like a GM. It 
says he made an accuracy. Sorry, what was that? Like his gambit on move three? Yeah. His inaccuracy is like playing d4 on move three. That's what the computer says. Otherwise, like a perfect game. Doesn't even say I made like a mistake or something. This was correct. So here the engine says castles or, or knight c3. He plays knight c3. Knight e6 is my mistake. So this variation isn't quite as good as I thought. Or else I have to find this specialty move. It looks like b5. Wow. 96, queen h4. d5, castles queenside. And I panicked with king f7, but what am I supposed to play here? It's like no good move. He made tons of mistakes. No, I thought I'd try this. This is a new move, knight c5. And I analyzed this far with the engine. But I didn't really go beyond this. I certainly wouldn't have found b5 to the best move according to the computer. But it does chase it does chase this diagonal bishop away. But I don't think that's that clear. If I had time to play a long game here, I, I guess I would take black. You gotta be taking advantage of your opportunities. If I can chase this bishop off this diagonal, I guess I'm okay. Wow. So that's not such a convincing variation. That was our e5 for today. Interesting baby. Strong baby. This is what I expected yesterday. I would get to play an open Sicilian with black. We might as well play our preparation since that game's never going to happen. Accelerated dragon. Unfortunately, on Lee Chess, I don't get enough really theoretical games. Nobody's going to play the, the Urasov Gambit at the master level. Thanks, Morales. You're really, it's really going to help me a lot that I'm well prepared for the Urasov Gambit. I can beat you and someone on sound if I figure out what I'm doing. Um, when was the last time like a master played that opening with white? Johnny Hector or something? All right, now, this is a mistake. This happened in the US class championship in 1995. Last round, I had to win to tie for first in the tournament, and my opponent played that. I think I played knight g4. My opponent played knight takes c6, and I played b takes c6, and he played bishop d4. Why can't I play bishop takes d4, queen d4, f6? I think I played f6 in that game. But I don't think that even knight g4 is a good move for black. That's basically what I'm trying to get to. I think I'm supposed to castle 
And if castles, then knight g4. Does that make sense? Well, if castles, I can just play, yeah, I can just play, yeah, I can just play d5. I mean, this is, this is trying to punish this too hard. Funny, I saw a game, I think in the database recently. Problem if you're black here and you want to win, d5 liquidates everything. It's hard to beat anybody. Black's maybe an itty bit better. If I don't want to win, I play the dragon. I can't play the dragon. I don't play the dragon. So all I can do is d5. Well, you don't have to go into what I did, turkey farm. If you play e4, e5, I mean, you don't have to accept that stupid gambit. I think it's important if you play, maybe if you play the Petrov, you can't really avoid it. Again, I get, I get like no preparation worthy of anything I can use in a high level game. You guys have to start playing more theoretical stuff because you're not training me in important lines here. Bishop h6 looks inconsistent. It's inconsistent. I might just trade queens with no difficulty whatsoever. Not the greatest move for my structure, but it would equalize. Uber driver. Anything, I mean, Anything except for the, the, the closed Sicilian, the Urasov Gambit, dubious draw lines of the Accelerated Dragon. Man, I had to prepare for this guy for Sunday who didn't come. He plays like five different things against the Sicilian. He plays the main line. He plays the Rosalimo. He plays C3. He does other weird lines. It's like, you've got to be kidding me. You know, I had to prepare like five different things. And then the guy doesn't come. Because he's probably like in Portugal or something. King, king me. My 80 year old team captain said I was playing that guy. But at least it forced me to study for the first time in weeks. I've been thinking about playing e45 because I'm getting sick of this Sicilian being essentially like a risky opening. If you need to play a solid game, The Cairo Khan just doesn't work for me. Essentially, I need to learn to play E forty five. Rook g1, it's, it's an aggressive move. Is this about trapping my bishop? You're going to try to trap my bishop? How dare you? My results in my career with the Karo Khan are horrendous. I think I won a game once. Maybe once. 
I wonder if I've ever won a game against a master with a Karo Khan in my life. Like, I'm seriously... I probably played it like dozens of times. I'm not sure if I've even won a single game against a master level player. It just doesn't work. Unleash the beast. The full pawn mass on the king's side. The only way I can beat you guys is some sort of tactical endgame. Surrendering. But now I'm blocking my e-pawn. So there's some, some advantage to that for white. He also has h4. Instead of h4, I can play f6. Not happy. E45, knight of three, knight six, six. No, I was thinking of playing, yeah. People know that. It's been played a lot. You know, those G6 lines. There's no secrets there, Uber driver. I was thinking of playing the, the a6, knight a5, Norwegian variation of the Royal Lopez. Something like, like that. That's not a very solid way to play, though. That's not a good idea. I'm just kidding. Jeez. Oh, man, this is so irritating. Driving me crazy, dude. How strong is Ludwig? Bishop g4 was not my plan, but I didn't like rook h8, h4. I didn't like g4. And I don't like this either. Okay, it's going to get very, very sharp. I thought he should have played rook d1 there. This might also be good, in fact. Very sharp. I know some people might not think of this as sharp, but it's, it's imbalanced. Damn, dude. I mean, that might even be a losing move. Rook d1. As I said earlier, rook d1. After rook d1, you have rook d7, and you have the threat of rook d5 check. If f5, e takes f, e takes f. These are critical. But now you might just be lost, like, on the move. It's like nothing for white to do here. Equal material, but strategically lost. I'm not even sure who's better after rook d1. Maybe I have time for a5, a4. I was going to play rook b7 just to keep him from penetrating on the 7th. Now it's probably just winning for black. Maybe not. Maybe I can't make progress, but I don't see how he, like, moves anything. He's, like, frozen. It's just like f5, rook d4, f4 check resigns. Funny, because you, you think, like, the e4 pawn is a weakness. It sort of was, but... The king of the hill game. Yeah, it is the king of the hill. I didn't get the reference before.
it's just over. It's over, but it's not over. If that makes any sense. I want to play F4 check. My god, I can't. That's unreal. I mean, this should be winning. The equivalent... I mean, this is equivalent to a protected pass pawn. Still not easy. I might have to actually. No, I see. I see the light. I don't know, Uber driver, what to play. We'll have to think about it. Whatever it is, it's going to take a lot of work and it's going to take a lot of practice because I'm not really accustomed to playing E4, E5. Qualitative majorities. All rook and games are drawn. Yum yum. I guess even G3 wins. Usually when I do something outside the normal. There's some sort of secret move I missed or something. At least this was instructive. That game against Morales, man. He wanted revenge for yesterday. Now it becomes apparent. He wanted to humiliate me. It wasn't enough just to win. He was so angry about losing yesterday. No, but the thing is, Turkey Farm... You know, the opening's fine, but you need to play it against weaker players. No way you're beating good players with Aliakin's defense. Um, I'm just talking about what I should play against strong players, you know, like my level or higher. Basically, what I, what I should play, like a solid defense to E4. Um, because the Karakhan sucks. I don't play the French. All you've got left is E4, E5. You know, and that's it. You got to play e4, e5, basically. I mean, the Petrov is fine. Probably I should try to play the Petrov, you know, but there's our Urasov Gambit. Hard to win, but you got to make up your mind what you want to do, you know. b6. Mule Skinner. I almost forgot you were here. No, we'll be principled. Against Mule Skinner, last time I played the Norwegian variation. What does he do against the Petrov? It's obviously a bad winning attempt for Black. Is it going to play like Queen E2? Like Nefidov? Oh, that's like the closed Sicilian. Good. Thank you for not playing Queen E2.
There's this like Chinese variation with bishop f5. I should look at it. Recently, though, black lost the game. It had, it had been almost like unbeatable at the top level. But recently I saw somebody lost with that with black. Like an almost unknown variation. This is uh having trouble remembering. This really weird this bread smell just came to me. There's a roll on the table. I'm sitting here like thinking about the position I start smelling the roll. The first time the whole stream. It's just bizarre. Castles, bishop takes f5, pawn takes f5, rook takes... I, I can't remember. I mean, e4. Can I sacrifice that pawn? I should really know this. I mean, it feels like black should be able to sacrifice a pawn there. Carlson lost to Ding in a Blitz game. What are you talking about? In Cochrane's Gambit? Or something else? Yeah, I, I told Asterbate he should play Cochrane's Gambit. GCT? Alright, alright. I thought we were talking about... something else so mule skinner can win a pawn now i can't remember this aren't white square bishops worth something c4 is also possible Yeah, after e4, e5, bishop c4, knight c6, I would assume you might have to be wary of some kind of delayed king's gambit, like f4 or something. Most people play knight f6 on move 2 against the bishop's opening. But I don't think that you have to. I mean, knight c6 should be okay. There are other ways to deal with the Urasov Gambit. This is like transposing to some kind of... Someone on sound, Danish. Knight f6 is a little bit passive. I don't know, I don't remember what happens after knight b4. I'm probably supposed to play that, right? That's a line. Actually, I remember a game between Grandmaster Zlatko Ilinchich and Christian Sabo. Knight before C takes D. And Zlatko like sacked the pawn or something. He, he just played like Knight takes D3 and retreated his knight. I think. Bishop g4 should be good. We should equalize with this. I think white should play like h3 there. Can you do that? h3? Two knight f3. What are you talking about, Astrobate? The normal move, e4, e5, knight f3, instead of bishop c4. You don't play bishop c4 very often lately, from what I've seen. The Mule Skinner. He won a very nice game against me. It was a Grand Prix attack. I had some hallucination. That was one of my most recent losses. 
prior to today. It's always Mule Skinner or Morales. Or Merle Dixon. They start with M. Guys, tomorrow night is the Ponda Arena. 7 plus 3 rapid tournament. Man, slow turnout today. Monday's Monday is a slow day. Oh. I have time. Ooh, I just changed, changed my window. Sorry. Broadcasting. All right, so this looks like a normal position. It could have come out of Queen's Gambit accepted, Petrov, Danish Gambit declined. I don't think I've ever played Knight F6 before. I've definitely played Knight B4. There's also the question of Knight B4, Bishop takes E4, Pawn takes E4, Rook takes E4, Bishop F5, Rook F4. I assume whatever that is is good for black. That's true. A lot of people play the bishop's opening for that particular reason, Asturbate, that it does avoid. Now, one thing that I've seen in some weird positions is like bishop h5, bishop takes h7 check, king takes h7, knight g5 check, bishop takes g5, queen h5 check, bishop h6, queen d5. That's a problem. But I could play bishop h6, bishop takes h6, g takes h. He's got knight takes d5. I mean, that's just winning for white. So I've got a problem. If bishop h5, bishop takes h7 check just wins for white, then my whole position is sort of almost busted. I have to play bishop e6, which looks horrendous. There's no justice. Bishop h5, bishop takes h7 check, king h7, knight g5 check. You have to look at king g6, but he has g4 there. This happened to me before. Maybe that doesn't work. King g6. <laughs> Knight g5 check, king g6. There's like f, um, f4. Serially. Can't play f4. No, but he has queen c2 check. After, after knight g5 check, king g6, queen, queen c2 check. F5, it's just better for white, I think. It's a freaking disaster. Even if he does all that, no, but I mean, in the variation with queen h5 check, you think I should go into that with like f5, rook, rook e6 check? It's not scary. Okay, we'll see after the game. But I think it was scary. I disagree that it's not not scary. We keep it clean for the Russian troll farm. We don't want to poison their fragile minds. They have to watch this stuff. It's a... They deserve hazard pay for what they do. He 
here it comes. Queen d3. Why do I want to play bishop f6? Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking about bishop f6 and g6. Those are the only good moves. Or knight b4. I have no idea what knight b4 does. It just forces him to play bishop b1 or bishop e4. Bishop b1 should benefit white. You know, he's just got a free move. Seems like he knows exactly what he's doing. This super well. You know, Skinner and Morales are really the same person. They've been trolling me for years. I always thought their openings were just too similar. They both played the Grand Prix attack. Yeah. Just a coincidence, you know, around the same rating. Ninety four now. I was much more afraid of ninety four. This is a blunder. <sighs> Morales never would have let me get away with that. He's too sharp. Now black is fine. I think I was a serious trouble after 94. I mean, it's not like I'm losing, but there's this, this annoying move, right? And sometimes knight g5. Does it anyway? Why not? Black is out of the woods. The semi tarash. We're up to twenty eight viewers now, twelve thirty. It's almost time to quit. I could stream till one. Then I gotta go. Um, bonus time. Still has play. Whew, I said I was out of the woods, like everything was fine. And still he has this nagging pressure. G4. Are you sure you want to play G4? I thought rookie one there was good. Now we're at least solid. Reorganizing.
turning the tables. <laughs> Give me that. Man, it wasn't pleasant. I mean, white was better the whole game. It doesn't make you want to play the Petrov. So it turns out the castles is kind of rare here. Bishop g4 is the line. I couldn't remember. Yeah, c4. C4 night before. I thought I remember a game like this, but it's not not the same position. This is a little dubious. So we transpose to some sort of line, but it's not a great line for black. I said he had to play h3, but he doesn't. Kovalev against Yu Yang Ki. Tal Karpov, 1983. It's plus 0.8 for white. Not a good variation. So that's right. See, if bishop h5, you get kaplinged with this. See, at least I know that much, you know, because this sort of thing has happened to me before. No one has ventured king g6. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I had a feeling this was unhealthy, but I wasn't really sure. And now g4. Welcome to hell. So that's what happens if you play, if you play king, yeah, whatever, bishop h5. Yeah, bishop e4. So I have to play this. So this has all been played before. 2017, you. Curious move here, bishop c2. It's a theoretical novelty, but it's Stockfish's number one move. Emil Skinner found it. Strongest move by, by far. Over the board, Mule Skinner finds theoretical improvement over 75 Grandmaster games or Master games with bishop c2. Dude, that's impressive. None of those grandmasters found that move. It is a bit unusual. I mean, a3 is much more standard. <laughs> These are weak players. Here I thought maybe I played g6, objectively. The computer thinks it's awful. So I played bishop f6, and then knight e4. I, I was fearing this move the most. Black is in a bad position. Barely playable. But he played this. Not quite as good. And I basically almost equalized. Still, this is good. This is good. And now I really equalize. And he just drops a pawn. Tough game. I played 10 cent upon loss, no inaccuracies. At least that's good. At least I played one decent game, despite my bad, sort of lame opening. Um, my best cent upon loss today. Chess Tosterone. Yeah, I don't know. E45. That was not fun. You know, that does not make me want to play E45 games like that. I had to play perfectly to almost equalize. Maybe I'll start playing the Elephant Gambit or something. At that point, like, I might as well not even play E45. You know, if I'm going to suffer... We might as well just play the Sicilian. The point is to play something that's like solid, you know? I'm not going to play e45 if I have to suffer for 50 moves, like brutally. 
like that last game. The Berlin defense. That probably kills it. No, I was thinking of playing the classical. This is dubious too, you know, objectively. I tried this the other day and had a decent game against somebody. I have an ex-friend who used to play this. I told told you last last stream or two streams ago. My ex-friend, player of the the Berlin Classical. Not easy for black. But at least it's interesting. This is definitely not a solid opening. What am I trying to achieve, you know, by playing e4, e5? The X friend. It is a sad word. The dawning of the era of Donald Trump. He's tearing us apart. Exposing us for who we really are. In some cases, maybe it's it's healing in a way. If it wasn't for Donald Trump, I wouldn't know my friend was an asshole, you know. So there's some good that comes of it, basically. Um, some good comes out of everything, I guess. Seriously, what am I doing here? I thought I looked at this the other day. Yeah, I guess D6. We have to do D6. Mr. Coffee, the buzzword. You're waking up for work. I swear to God we didn't talk about politics all stream. I just mentioned this opening because it just so happens that this is the opening of my ex-friend who happens to be a right-wing conspiracy theorist very solid setup here what if I take the time to play a6 is there something wrong with that it's like a good joke go now. Money for nothing and your chicks for free. Thanks, Chestosterone, for playing the Joko piano with your bishop on A4 or whatever. I could even play B5, but I'm going to pass on that. You've been here for half an hour hiding. Our mater moderators, our moderators basically have to hide. They're afraid of all the, the things I might say. Uber driver, are you branching out the Sicilian? I just want to play something sometimes that's kind of solid, you know? But it's it's kind of difficult to find that. I mean... Yeah, maybe you're right, Uber driver. Something like the Steinitz, Roy Lopez. I feel like the main lines of the Roy Lopez would be even more solid without being so stodgy. This is basically like a tempo up Joko Piano for black. Yeah, he, he just believes in conspiracy theories and right wing dictators. He thinks that the 9-11 was staged by the American government, probably. I don't know. Crazy things that the troll farmers make us believe. At least we got rid of the FIDE president who was abducted by aliens. You, you joined at a weird time, absolutely. We're in bonus time. I'm sorry, I'll try not to, to start talking about aliens and conspiracy theories. But seriously, guys, um... It's just a joke of piano. I have an extra tempo. I mean, that should be really good. Knight h5. Let's party. 
Hey, extra tempo. What happens when you have an extra tempo in the Joker piano with black? You get to play like knight h5. Because knight takes e5, knight takes e5, queen takes h5, knight takes d3. Actually, I just trapped his queen now. I'm not really sure, but I, I watched some videos about it on YouTube, Mr. Coffee. And that's how I'm going to decide what's real and what's not. Yeah, the yesterday's game where I played knight g4. That should be researched. Obviously, I messed up the move order of that. Right, you play king h first, and then h3, and then you sack on f2, and then you play f5. Unfortunately, I think that it's probably not that great for black. You know, it's maybe equal. I thought the result of my game being a draw was kind of normal for that. I didn't know Chess Hosterman played this, Joko Piano with white. It's funny when you play the joke piano with, with three bishop b5. So now he's really threatening to take. I guess he could play d4. Then bishop g4. Okay. Is that good? If d4... Bishop g4, pawn takes e5. Whatever happens, I mean, black must have something there. Maybe not. Pawn e5, pawn e5. Queen takes queen, rook takes queen. Now knight e7, right? D4. The point of the, the Joko piano is to play D4. You just don't play it right away. Maybe I can play Queen F6 now. That looks interesting. The Earth flatness is is. Trending again, yeah. I think it's probably being promoted by some pop stars. Queen F6 looks right. I was thinking about like the standard sort of 97, but it's not enough stability in the center. I think queen f6 is important. Reinforcing e5, getting a piece out, protecting f4, kind of getting around the, the white king. Queen g6, queen h6, eh, maybe not, but queen g6 in some positions might be good. I have to watch for knight h4. And now, I mean, I could have played bishop e6 before. You can always do that. Now what? Queen g6, queen h4. It's always the good old fashioned g5. But... I guess we just hang out. But again, the d4, d4, I'm not convinced about d4. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't think I played this optimally, but maybe the last move, Bishop E6, wasn't good. Take care, Mr. Coffee. Have a good donut session. Did you get that new franchise? 97. I just didn't see what is the plan, you know? Like, what, what am I doing next after 97? I guess I'm just playing Knight G6, you know? I'm not really sure. Where's my knight going? Bishop takes, knight takes d5, pawn takes d5, knight e7 loses a piece. That's sick. That was definitely not part of the deal. I'm not supposed to lose a piece on that. <sighs> this is just something I learned from Acerbate. When in doubt, threaten made in one. I'm not even sure who's better now. Played. Basically, I missed bishop takes d5, knight takes d5, pawn takes d5, knight e7, bishop g5, winning a piece. But this, this looks dubious, doesn't it? He's weakening his king side. I don't approve. That's not Slaggy approved. Why does he need to play g3 and, and ruin his king side? It's funny though, I don't have a lot of squares with my queen yet. I have just one, which is enough. The white pawn structure has reduced itself value-wise. Welcome to Value Town. Where your dollar goes farther. G5. Well, I guess I just equalize with like knight f5 or something. What am I supposed to do? He can even play queen f3. That's weird. Maybe good for black. I don't know. Where's he come up with this stuff? King h8 recommended. Interesting.
Wow. Was that the best move? Rook G4, five. Jesus. It's a terrible play. Might play terribly. He spotted it. No, Rook G5 just wins, man. Bishop C5 is a blunder. I couldn't find the freaking move. It's funny, I thought about bishop b6, but I thought white just plays b4 anyway. What does it even do? This is an amazingly amazing position. So this position here, he finds queen f3. He has nine seconds left and finds the only move that allows white to be better. And now he's got eight seconds left, nine seconds left. And he finds the only move that allows white to have an advantage. I thought rook g1 was the best move. The computer is looking at rook ae1, which I don't really understand. I didn't really get this, you know. After rook takes rook, king takes rook, rook g1 check. I have to play king f8. I just thought that I would be slightly worse here. Yeah, there's still time for a game. Nils... You want to challenge me? Subscribers are supposed to have preference. When I play queen f6. Yeah. Not that queen f6. Yeah. Number one move. It's it's the flip between rook e8 and queen f6. But knight d5 is the best move for white. The only move. Literally. He played king h1 first. Right, so here, I again, I question what I did here with bishop e6. This is a mistake. I didn't see knight d5 was good. h6 or rook e8 or some kind of waiting move. Black has a microscopic advantage, it looks like. All right, Nils is a subscriber. I don't know why. He's always talking smack. So we get to play d4 for the first time today. That's funny. Everybody played e4 all day long. And our last game is gonna be d4. So what are we going to do? Oh, I know. Play the Alinchich variation. Maybe Nils knows how to get an advantage with white. Because I don't know how to get an advantage with white against this. Yesterday I told Ivan Farago about it, and he was like, oh yeah, that's that's a normal variation. I mean, some books like completely don't even like treat this like it exists as a move e4 what is e4 <laughs> oh I know Wait.
Yeah, this is interesting. Let's play the Benoni. I was just kidding, man. That's not good. It's it's the ultimate snake Benoni. Come on now, D5. D5 can't be good. This is the best Snake Benoni I ever played. I just like got to put my bishop on b4 in one move. <laughs> it's like normally bishop c7, bishop d6, bishop c7, bishop a5. All right. But knight 2 looks consistent. I mean, that, that actually makes sense. Believe it or not. My king is stuck. Kill him in his bed. Seriously, I mean if if the if this if this is not a good snake benoni then nothing is. Last week I played the snake benoni and I played it wrong. You went off for draw? <laughs> Reside? Come on, man. Wake up. Alright. French McCutcheon. I'll get some training sessions with Jesse Cry. He doesn't want to do take backs. <laughs> Take backs are not manly. Dude, come on, G3. Okay, guys, one more game. One more. I would love to see you play some games with... Oh, God. Oh, God. No, not that. My my Wikipedia page isn't up yet. No, here he has to play this. F3, only move. And we have an interesting position. You can do a3 delaying the inevitable. a3 bishop a5. But then you're going to have to play f3. This is actually interesting, man. Should have taken the take back. It turns into an f3 nimzo of sorts. No, he lost his central pawn. That's his whole game. But some people actually play d5 here, but they're not too strong. Posadaru. This is, this is really crazy. Nils Novelty, c takes d. No fear. But this is instructive, guys. This is really instructive. I made a, I made a mistake. I'm supposed to play Queen E7. This is actually really, really important that Black plays Queen E7 because I let him into a kind of normal position by playing castles. This is a massive improvement on castle. Now we have a double threat against the center. That's why these other guys didn't even play C takes D. It's just a good Benoni for black. 
Nils, you have no business playing d5 there. You have no business playing e4 with white. I'll let you work it out and try to come up with something for next time. Guys, I've got to go. We're going to do the Ponda Arena tomorrow night, 6.30 p.m. Central European time. Mr. Coffee, thanks for joining us. Thanks, everybody, for playing. If you'd like to play in the Ponda Arena tomorrow night, you have to join our club, Ponda and Horses Club. You can just click on my profile and find it there. If anybody has a link, um, you can post it at this time. Mr. Coffee's not in the house, but uh, maybe I can find it for you guys. If you'd like to play in the tournament tomorrow night, again, I will post the link to the to our club for the tournament. Here you go. Here you go. Most of you know this. That's the way we're running it now. There it is. Thanks, Astrobate. Tournament Tuesday. Join the club. Okay, everybody. I will see you later. And Ponda. See you tomorrow night for his Rapid Arena. Hey, thanks everybody for playing. Interesting games today. Try to keep it theoretical. We need some work. Bye-bye.